All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've been talking about Ubisoft stock for a while. Things are just flat out not looking good, right? Things are looking pretty bad for Ubisoft. And no matter how much you want to shill for Ubisoft, at the end of the day, you're going to have to sit there and talk business because otherwise you're going to end up coping and seething about your company, your game, or your whatever being shut down. And before you know it, you're going to be making a petition to try to bring the game back and nobody's going to want to sign it. Well, apparently Ubisoft's getting absolutely destroyed because financial analysts have officially downgraded Ubisoft's stock and is citing Star Wars outlaws predicting that it will underperform expectations Yes, ladies and gentlemen, something that we've known since the announcement of Star Wars Outlaws is that everything was writing on this game and Assassin's Creed Shadows. Ubisoft needs a win. Somewhere, somehow, Ubisoft needs a win because right now they are one of the lowest, if not the lowest, publicly traded stock for a video game company out there. Every other video game company is currently destroying them in terms of their stock price, but Ubisoft is down to just $2.50. That's literally it. $2.50 is what Ubisoft is down to. This company is, is not looking good, man. So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Again, guys, I, I need you to understand something. $2.50, okay? GameStop is worth more. EA is worth more. All the, like literally name a company, think of a company out there right now and google it and I guarantee you it's worth more than Ubisoft stock, right? Ubisoft being down to $2.50 is abysmal. And you know what's even worse about that? You're going to have uh there was recently an investors call, right? This investors call, one of the investors asked uh the Ubisoft CEO, they said, "How does it look right now for pre-order numbers?" with Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows, and what is the overall sentiment for these games? How is it looking? What are we projecting? You know what he was told? He was told, we don't discuss pre-order numbers. Can you imagine the CEO of a company that is currently being traded at $2.50 telling one of their last few investors, we don't discuss pre-order numbers? I would have pulled out right away. I would have pulled out immediately from any investment into Ubisoft, and I'll be like, all right, then I guess you don't want my money. That's fine. That is ridiculous, man. You're trading at $2.50. People have a right to know what's happening with their money that you are purposely losing as you do all of this DEI nonsense on top of that too. It's amazing that you'll be so desperate to want to talk about DEI where you got all these company emails being leaked, all these DEI initiatives happening. You want to talk about that, but you don't want to talk about sales numbers. That's fucking insane. A new report reveals that multiple financial analysts have downgraded Ubisoft stock, with a number of them citing Star Wars Outlaws and predicting that the game will underperform expectations. Now, that's pretty obvious, right? Kind of knew that was going to happen. I said, I always said from the beginning that between the two, which I think is going to sell more, I think Assassin's Creed Shadow is absolutely going to sell more than Star Wars Outlaws because Star Wars as a brand is very damaged, right? And then on top of that too, the game doesn't look that interesting, okay? The reviews have been utterly terrible for the most part, whether by YouTubers or, or some even mainstream outlets have just been dunking on the game because it's extremely buggy, like most Ubisoft games when they come out, and it's boring. Overall, it's very boring. The character is not very fun. The gameplay is laughable, right? What they consider stealth gameplay is fucking a joke. It's just, it's overall, it's a massive joke. Bloomberg reports that investment firm BNP Paribas downgraded the stock to neutral on Wednesday. The firm's analyst, Nicholas uh, Langlet, who is described by Bloomberg as a bull of Ubisoft Entertainment SA, downgraded the stock, citing a crowded release schedule and increased competition, including Grand Theft Auto 6. According to the report, Langlet cut his price target on the stock by more than half to 14.50 euro, a new low among analysts tracked by Bloomberg. Uh, on top of Langley downgrading the stock, Cantor Fitzgerald also downgraded Ubisoft stock. Fitzgerald cited Star Wars Outlaws reviews and predicted the game will underperform expectations. Bro, they're, <laughs> they're getting roasted, and they're getting roasted rightfully so. We all saw this coming, right? And it's so sad, but, you know, at the end of the day, man, this is why I say, you know, toxic positivity. That's the new term that's being thrown around right now, but, you know, you could call them positivity peddlers, whatever. Toxic positivity 
is worse for gaming than just being negative about everything, okay? I'm just being honest with you. Toxic positivity is terrible because you have all of these shills out there that have YouTube channels, uh, websites, whatever, and they will purposefully lie. They will tell you everything is fine. They will tell you all is well with the world just so that they personally can benefit from it. They personally could gain access to mainstream. They personally could get free swag. They personally could get paid for it, depending on how big they are. They personally can profit off of it in one way or another that's beneficial to them. So they will watch everything burn around them by not giving an actual thorough feedback. They will let everything burn just so they can benefit. And this is what's destroying the industry on top of the fact that studios are only listening to that particular information, right? Because community managers that are woke as hell are never going to want to listen to people they consider to be bigots. So all they're going to do is listen to people that are positivity peddlers. Then they take that information, they give it to the developers, and the developers say, well, everything's fine. Everybody's happy. The community loves it. And then they go and they pass it off to the investors, and the investors like, okay, great. The community sentiment is strong. That means this game's going to be great. And then it bombs. Why is it bombing? It's bombing because it's not connecting with actual real gamers, right? You're making video games, but you're making them not for gamers. You're making them for yourselves. You're making them so you can pass them off to your friends and show how proud you are for being a progressive. Like that's, that's the entire reason these games are made. And they're honestly made for the modern audience, which is ESG investors, right? These games are being made to attract ESG investors to give money to these companies to make up for the loss in sales that they're going to get from putting out a game that nobody wants to play. That, that is, it's, it's just such a fucking... It's a weird circle to be in. It's a weird clusterfuck to be in. And yet we are here constantly dealing with this because nobody wants to sit up here aside from a couple of YouTubers and be honest over what's going on. And then the mainstream industry wants to attack those YouTubers and call them shills. I'm sorry, and call them uh, 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 rage baiters because they're telling the truth over what's happening. But at the end of the day, this is what's happening. You can talk about us being rage baiters all you want, but your stuff is failing. And it's failing because it's not connecting with your audience, right? We are part of your audience. Real gamers are part of your audience. And they are the majority of your audience. And you are choosing to ignore that audience to go for the minority who, who basically lies to you to your face and tells you sweet, sweet nothings so that everything seems to be fine when it's not. So ultimately, Ubisoft being downgraded as a stock is fucking hilarious to me, but at the same token, it's also sad because anybody with a brain tried to warn you as to what was happening and all you did was put your head in the sand and you chose to ignore it as if it wasn't happening. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.